Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the burns matic butane powered soldering iron. I picked this up at Home Depot. I think it was like 19 bucks. Um, up until recently I've been using my Ultra Torch, my Master Ultra Torch. And uh, I used this for a number of years. This was given to me by a good friend of mine who, uh, who actually passed away earlier this year. But as you can see, the uh, the tank has a few cracks in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's fairly messed up. And it won't hold pressure anymore. Except for just a maybe a few seconds. So if I just put a little bit in there. You hear it hissing. Now you're supposed to be able to just turn it to the on position and hit the button. Which the igniter's pretty old. Turn the pressure down. There we go. I always liked that when it started up and the little ceramic glows orange. And it's supposed to be ready within 30 seconds, is what I really liked about this. That way. You know, you're not getting the regular corded soldering iron out and waiting half an eon for it to heat up. And then it doesn't get very hot. Um, still hissing quite annoyingly. So I'll set it down here. Now, I haven't opened this yet. And I'm hoping it's at least half the quality that other one is. <laughs> that other one's expensive. Those start off at about 150 just for a base model, and I don't even think those are auto-ignite like that. That one might be a $200 rig. Um, I haven't looked them up in a little bit, but I know I don't have the funds to spend on that right now. So, I saw this at Home Depot. Figured 20 bucks. We can give it a shot. Here's the instructions. Since I haven't used it before, I might as well take a quick look. Looks pretty straightforward. I could probably figure it out. So, just a little cover. Seems like that would get messed up pretty quick. There's, I'm assuming, what you would use to light it. Somehow the continuous, there's on. Oh, it's got a little safety. You're supposed to hold the blue button down and click it. So, let's put some gas in it and see if we can get it to do something. Woo! That's gold. Give that a few seconds to warm up. Take another look at the packaging. Could be fun. Okay. I'm going to set this down here like the two. Hit the release. Well, what I see right now is it's got a ceramic that does glow. It doesn't whistle like the Ultra Torch does. I guess if you switch it to continuous It'll just hold. Okay. So we're up and running, I believe. You can see the glow right there. And see about getting it tinned up here. Taken to it pretty quick. Alright. Now, turn it off. We're going to see about how it does soldering. You can start testing how it does soldering here. So, do a couple classics here. Like maybe a J hook. If anybody it's not familiar with soldering. Never heard of a J-hook. It's where when you take the wires and bend them in a J 
you just hook them together like that and then you clamp it and solder it and you can fold them shut or whatever but I mean at least you'll have a, a decently strong bond there we go takes a few tries Oh, see, the other one promised it was ready in 30 seconds, so that's that's pretty close, actually, to the master torch. Fairly strong bond that's not going anywhere. Then something my dad showed me is when you fan out the little fibers and you'll interleaf them together with another piece. So you'll take them and interleaf them like this. Just gonna stick them together and you twist it. That way you get a really skinny bond that's also extremely strong. I need new alligator clips really bad. They're really beat up. So... There we go. Takes a couple tries to get it to light, but I mean, it was 20 bucks. Let's see how long this takes. I was ready fairly instantaneously. And seems to be flowing okay. So overall, it's fairly decent little soldering iron. I mean, you have your gas adjustment one through four, um, your lock on and off, so you don't have to hold the button down the whole time, and your auto ignition, which is actually quite a lot to ask for for only twenty dollars. So huge thumbs up to the Burns-O-Matic cordless soldering iron. I highly recommend going up to Home Depot and picking one up. Um, naturally, it's not going to be up to the quality of the the Master Ultra Torch with its metal body and everything, but <laughs> I wish there was a way to fix this because I really like that. Um, but this will work. Just gas it up, throw it in the toolbox, go fix some stuff. So, huge thumbs up. Go check one out, and uh, thanks for watching.